what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A man walked into a gas station, pulled out a gun, and shot his wife in the head. He then turned the gun on himself and shot himself in the head. Dead. Backstory. The woman was allegedly cheating with the man's best friend on his 40th birthday. What exactly were they doing? It's alleged that she gave his best friend a blowjob and he saw it on the home surveillance cameras. Dude walked into that gas station and popped up one time and then knocked his own noodles. Let me tell you something, fam. I don't get it. If the woman is that bad, if she's that toxic, why would you go through all of that trouble to throw your life away? Some people say, well, you know, you know, she shouldn't have done it. You know, you know, man. Ladies, if y'all hear any dude saying something like that, y'all better get out fast. Get out, get away from that dude fast because he got it in him. Listen, the dude didn't look like a kid. I can't tell really how old he is, but I know he wasn't a teenager. When you're a kid, you don't understand that there's always tomorrow. You don't get it. You know, everything don't quite compute. But man, by the time you get in those mid-20s, late-20s, 30s, man, something in your head ought to snap and say, look, it ain't worth it. If a woman is that bad, why would I throw my life? When I get it, we are human. We got emotions. And we feel like we've invested a certain amount of whatever into a relationship. And we want to return on our investment in the form of loyalty. The trip part about it is that oftentimes dudes be cheating too. But there's something about that having that idea of a virtuous woman. They can't take it when the woman does it. Now, I can't take it either, but I'm not gonna go on no killing spree. And some of these dudes, not only will take the woman out, they'll take her parents out, anything she loves, they'll take the children out. That, to me, is the ultimate simp. Not taking the kids out and the mama and the woman and all that. I'm talking about any type of violence, period. That is the ultimate simp. Now, fellas, I know some of you are sitting here watching this going like, man, eh, oh, that man, she do me like that, man, I ain't gonna be on. Da, da. Fellas, I'm telling you this because I love you for real. I'm trying to give you some game, some life-saving game. See, a sucker would just tell you anything. They'll just be like, yeah, you know, they really, these suckers are emotional. And they'll say anything. They'll do anything. You have to really put it in perspective. Because I've witnessed dudes call women every kind of name in the book and then take her out. Sometimes take himself out and other people out. If she is the bitch that you say she is, the slut, the hoe. Why would you kill yourself? Why would you throw your life away for a hoe, a bitch, a slut? Why would you be sitting in jail, sitting there like a damn fool? Don't know what your future gonna hold. You don't know if they finna pop you up with a, a good... 20 years, a 30 year sentence, a 50 year sentence. You don't know if they finna give you life or the death penalty. All behind a hoe, a bitch, or a slut. 
It don't make sense. It is very important when you're in these type of situations, if you find yourself in this type of situation to fall back and don't react too soon. Because if you see something going on and it catches you off guard like that, it's easy to have that knee-jerk reaction. It's a good idea to think about what you might do to make sure that you don't get yourself in a jam. See, because when you do her and throw your life away, you just took another L. And that's crazy because a lot of times people self-hurt, right? They self-harm themselves. Uh, I said self-harm themselves, but they self-harm. People will allow someone, well, I won't say allow, but sometimes people harm people. They're harmed by other people and a person is hurting and then they're remedy is to harm themselves further. It don't make a lot of sense to me. It just don't make sense to me. It's like, let's say somebody leave you or you lose your job or something. And then instead of you sitting back trying to figure out a way to get a new job or to come up or even become an entrepreneur or whatever, you jump out there and start doing drugs or start, you become an alcoholic or something. Your actions have to be consistent with the outcome that you want. Otherwise, it ain't going to work. I saw another video of a dude who caught his woman with another guy. And she's running all down the street, butt naked and all this stuff. He's chasing after the dude that's standing there naked. And he's swinging on her. So he's probably going to end up in jail or in another bad situation. And ain't nothing going to stop her from being the type of person she is. I really do believe that enough people out here, what well, there isn't enough people out here who really understand human nature. In this society, we have to get to a point to where we as human beings understand that we don't own one another. All of these titles are simply to identify our relationship with one another, that's it. You can say my girlfriend, my wife, my boyfriend, my husband today, but the moment that person decides they don't wanna be with you anymore, it's a wrap and there's nothing you can do short of losing your sanity short of harming yourself. If you're all that you think you are, move on. Show them you can get somebody better. Show them you can find somebody more attractive. Show them you can find somebody who is loyal. Show them you can find somebody who has more drive, more integrity. Dude was a straight simp. There's no other way to say it. If I was his friend, not the best friend, a real friend, I would have told him, suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What the talking about?